I want to look at this from a somewhat different point of view, namely from the point of view of the monkey. The monkey sits there, looks at the gun, and the golf ball comes to the monkey. And I will put them both in a room, which is an elevator, and the elevator is in free fall, and they don't even know that. They both fall with the acceleration g. Here is the monkey, and here the velocity of that bullet is v zero. And so the monkey will see that bullet come straight at him. There's no such thing as an arc. They both fall in this falling, gra in this falling elevator, and so the bullet comes. The monkey happens to be a very intelligent monkey, and the monkey says to himself, how long do I have to live? And the monkey makes the following calculation. If this distance is d, and this is h, then the monkey says, aha, this is the square root of d squared plus h squared. So from the monkey point of view, the time for the kill will be the square root of d squared plus h squared divided by v zero. That's how many seconds he has to live. But you people are also quite smart. And you look at this diagram, and you said, no, no way. If this distance is d, then the speed to reach this point is v zero cosine alpha. In other words, the time that it takes for this object to reach this value of x, so for 26,100 MIT students, t kill equals d divided by v zero cosine alpha. But what is the cosine of alpha? That is d divided by the square root of d squared plus h squared. So I can replace this cosine alpha by d divided by the square root. 